dear students today we will discuss the sound producing organs in the insects insects of some species are capable of producing and perceiving sound with the help of variable but well defined mechanisms and organs their sound has a certain biological significance and it may be used as a species specific language among the opposite sex and individuals as a whole during mating aggression danger etc it is also found that an individual insect can produce different sounds of variable frequencies in according accordance with their requirements researchers have classified sound producing mechanism in insects in five categories or otherwise we can divide it into two categories the unspecific mechanism of sound production and the special mechanism of sound production and better we have to discuss it in the these five categories vibration percussion stridulation click mechanism mechanisms and air expulsion we will discuss all these mechanisms one by one first of all the vibration some emissions that result from vibrations of relatively unspecialized body parts of the insect generally oscillations of the abdomen either dorsoventrally or laterally the oscillatory movements of the wings of an insect set up regions of compression and rarefaction and a vibrational sound is produced tremulation sound is transmitted through the legs to the substrate on which the insect is walking or standing tremulation is associated with oscillating rocking and jerking movements of the body and signals are produced without striking the substrate and transmitted to the substrate the flight sound made by the wings in swarming mosquitoes is considered to be used for species specific recognition wing vibration is also used in courtship dances of the drosophila species in group living tree hoppers which belong to the family membracidae vibratory signals are also associated with defense and parental care locating the new feeding site and possibly also in ant mutualism in chrysomelid beetles vibrational signals have been observed as a part of the defensive behavior and group movement and it seems that vibrational signals during group movement is also present in tinged bug names young honey bee queens communicate through vibrational signals called the queen piping they are associated with queen competition house hunting and activating or deactivating foraging vibratory signals are also transmitted during the vagal dance in the honey bees vibrational communication in ants occurs in a variety of contexts often as a part of multimodal signal or as a modulatory signal and the effects can depend on the social context where the signals are perceived it plays a role in underground alarm communication recruitment to the food sources and communication between the caste in the context of defense against the parasites now if we talk about the mechanism of the vibration the vibrational communication it is a physical properties of the environment and insects anatomy and physiology and the resulting behavior as a part of the courtship males and females produce several stereotypes species and sex specific vibratory signals called the songs they have very low frequency signals 80 hertz to 120 hertz production of these signals that is vib- production of vibratory signals is accompanied by movement of the abdominal tergal plate and dorso ventral vibrations of the whole abdomen then next we have to talk about the percussion what is percussion striking one part of the body against another 
as a communication system for their pair formation as known for example in the australian moth males produce ultrasonic acoustic long distance signals to attract sexually receptive females and to establish territorial residency in competition with other males striking the substance with the tip of abdomen is also considered as a percussion signal in case of the agaricitid moth striking wings together is especially common in butterflies and moth flies the agaricitid moth has castanet like structures on the leading edges of its four wings and the another species of these more aggressive moths they produce a very pure tone of 30 kilohertz one species that is hecatesia exultans it produces a sound of 30 kilohertz whereas one another species the hecatesia thyridion it produces a broad band signal in both the ultrasonic and audible ranges the water strides which belong to the family garidae they create ripples on the surface of the water by slapping the water with their middle leg or by shaking a large piece of debris in the water these are the mating calls males use a frequency range of 17 to 29 hertz the females respond they their frequency of their sound is 1.5 to 2 hertz these signals can propagate as far as 20 to 35 cm and still be understood by the female male use their signals to warning signals other males away once they have attracted a mate this form of acoustic communication is categorized as vibrational waves a signal that is produced by percussion that can propagate across a medium other than air now the stridulation it is a special mechanism of sound production in well known sound producing insects the sound is produced by well developed sound producing organs though they may differ in sound producing mechanism the main sound producing mechanisms are of three types stridulatory timbal and epipharyngeal the so first of all we will discuss the stridulatory mechanism it is also called the frictional mechanism a large number of insects produce sound by the friction of the two parts of the organ of the body against each other and such organs are known as the stridulatory organs they are well developed in some species of orthoptera coleoptera dictyoptera hemiptera lapidoptera and hymenoptera the stridulatory organs may differ in location from one species to the other but basically they consist of a file and a scraper the main thing to remember is that in the stridulatory organ there are two basic parts that is file and a scraper these organs are confined to only male insects of the orthopteroid families tatigonidi and grylidi so that only males can produce the sound by efficient stridulation both the stridulatory organs are formed due to secondary modification of the cuticle the file is formed of row of teeth ridges or projection the scraper is composed of hard knobs or pegs around arranged in a linear fashion the file and the scraper are also termed as the strigil and plectrum the first phase stridulation has been associated to three phases of mating behavior in certain orthoptera the first phase comprises of the response stridulation from the receptive female orientation towards and locomotion of the male the female arrived near the male stridulating in response to the mate song the male once noticing the female sings the courtship song engages the genitalia and copotalia copulation occurs then how the 
stridulatory organs function as i have already told you stridulation is the process of creating sound by rubbing two rough surfaces together many insects use stridulation to create sound and then use secondary resonators to amplify them a common mean of stridulation is running a scraper or plectrum as shown in the diagram across over a more complicated ridge or the file in the male cattiids they produce sound by rubbing their acoustically adapted four wings together this is known as wing on wing stridulation a row of teeth on underside of one wing contacts a modified edge of other wing first is called the file and row of teeth which is underside of one wing is called file and the row, row of teeth which is on the modified edge of the other wing it is called the scraper this send specialized sound radiating regions crickets that is belonging to the family grylidae and cattiids they produce stridulation by rubbing their wings together in general the plectrum is located on the costal margin on the right wing and a tooth file is located on the cubital vein on the left wing resonating regions in the wing vibrate and produce sound as the plectrum of the right wing is rubbed along the teeth of the file on the left wing the teeth of the file act as a clock escapement with the wing muscle acting as springs as i have told you about the structure of the file and the plectrum as in gomphocerini grasshoppers stridulate by rubbing a row of pegs on the inner side of the hind femur against a specialized vein on the fore wing each peg strike results in a very brief click of the sound and each up or down stroke results in a series of clicks a syllable is composed of three down up strokes with the two hind legs moving then another method of sound production is the click mechanism this is by the contraction and relaxation specialized musculature within the insect body this movement results in a succession of clicks which may be repeated quickly in distinctive patterns timbal is the name of specialized area of cuticle as exemplified in the loud singing cicadas for example the male of tibicina cicada species produce a sustained and monotonous calling sound by timbal activity the timbal organs are well developed in some hemiptera and lapidoptera the timbal organs are highly evolved in hemiptera ocinorinca and cicadas pentatomids among hemiptera and in arctidi and in lapidoptera in hemiptera the timbal organs are well developed in the males as a pair of membranous structures on the dorsolateral region of the abdominal segment the timbal is a chitinous membrane it is supposed supported around the edge by a strong chitinous ring and it is normally bought outside the timbal muscle is attached to the timbal at the center internally it is communicated with an air sac which opens through a spiracle the acoustic signal constitute the first step in case of the cicada the acoustic signal constitute the first step in pair formation attracting females at long distance and is involved in the male male interactions the sound producing mechanism of the cicada which is one of the loudest insect consists of a large timbal plate parallel to a series of vertical ribs surrounded by a springy pad of resilin which is an elastic protein found commonly in arthropods you can see in the diagram the timbal organ of the cicada now the next first of all 
we will how the temple works let us discuss this when the temple muscle is contracted the temple is pulled inward and a consequent distortion of the temple membrane produces a pulse of sound with the relaxation of the temple muscle the temple springs back to its original position due to its elasticity and it again produces another pulse of sound two timbals work synchronously the frequency of the sound is about 390 to 45 cycles per second now let us discuss the another method of sound production that is by air expulsion it is also called the epipharyngeal mechanism this is an unusual sound producing mechanism within insects the sound is described as an exhalatory sound frequently expelled via the tracheal spiracles however little is known about its function the madagascar hissing cockroach is able to produce audible hisses from a pair of modified spiracles adult males hiss in three social contexts during courtship during copulation and during aggressive encounter adults and nymphs of both sexes also hiss when they are disturbed some cockroaches whistle through breathing holes in their abdomen called spiracle the giant madagascar cockroach has an especially large horn shaped structure connecting its tracheal tube to one of its spiracles the tube is thinner where it connects to the trachea and widens out to the place where it connects to the spiracle the opening of the spiracle is covered with a flap which can be opened and shut by opposing muscles you can see all the structures visible the the number are showing the position of these all structures sound producing organs the cockroach makes a hissing sound by forcing air through the thin opening between the trachea and the tracheal horn the hiss is a relatively broad band signal but the most pronounced frequency falls at 8.5 kilohertz consistent with the resonant frequency of the horn the best known example of the air expulsion is in the large and spectacular european hawk moth which are also called death's head hawk hawk it expels air forcibly through the mouth parts to make a distinctive piping sound this is also called as the epipharyngeal apparatus the proboscis act as an amplifier in the case of epipharyngeal mechanism the pharynx as an air pump and the epipharynx as a vibrating instrument the pharyngeal muscles operate the air pump contraction of the pharyngeal muscles induces dilation of the pharynx and the air is sucked through the proboscis as it is visible in the diagram it causes the epipharynx to vibrate and a sound is produced by pulse of air stream relaxation of the pharyngeal muscles induces contraction of the pharynx and the air is blowed out the exhalant air stream also produces a high pitched sound like a whistle during which the epipharynx is held erect the sound production is possible only if the pharynx is empty due to vibration of the epipharynx the sound of frequency of 280 cycles per second is produced in this way you have studied all the five mechanisms of sound producing in the insects thank you